Joshua's world is one of the most interactive portfolios I've ever seen. Once you click explore my world, you are able to drag it to explore. And this takes you through his journey as a designer or as a motion designer in this case. And one of the interesting things is that not only can you scroll in and out so you can see this, this island that he's created, but this is something that we're starting to see more and more often in 2023. We're starting to see websites that start to include more and more 3D assets. So in this scenario, we see that Joshua Joshua has applied to different places and it kind of takes you through his experience as a designer and his career. But if we want to take this to a more corporate level, apart from having these nice niche animations and interactions in 3D, how would we do that? Well, the next website here, Panasonic Connect, shows us what that would look like. Now, if we start to scroll more, we will be taken to some of these products that they want to showcase. And as you keep scrolling, as you keep doing your own thing, it takes you through all the products that they want to talk about. And at any point you can click on these products and it'll take you to a link. But the cool thing that I think is that we're starting to see these products become so much more accessible with websites like Spline, with Cinema 4D being more accessible, with all these new technologies being able to be created so much more easily. I think that we're gonna to start to see a lot more of these interactions and a lot more of these experiences, especially for things like conferences. Imagine being able to go through the entire conference as it's happening live, especially for something like the Webflow conference, which is usually held online and in person, but online is also a massive part of that. So this could be an application that could be used for something like that. So not only do we have these 3D interactions for portfolios and for corporate events, things like that, but we also start to see them for more more niche applications. Interactions in 3D are starting to become more common, but something that's also becoming a lot more common is having animations be set directly into your site. So with websites like Webflow and Figma and Framer now, all these animations and interactions are becoming a lot easier to start to implement. And you have your regular Joe being able to implement these really cool animations, really cool product showcases without having a massive fee to do that. So this is a trend that I think is also gonna start taking off this year and also next year we're almost three months into this year, but having animations become a more subtle part of your page, of your landing page, your entire website is gonna become a critical part to selling whatever product it is that you wanna sell, especially when your website doesn't have it and isn't incorporated in a nice way and the competitors might be. So when you are comparing those two, it might be a difficult case to not start to use animations and, and those interactions, especially if the person that you're looking towards is starting to use those animations and interactions. So not only do we have these types of animations, but we also have AI, which is becoming a massive trend in this year. Now, recently with open AI and chat GPT coming out, AI has honestly just come out of the ground and taken over everything. Every conversation is now AI, and that is also in the design space. So we have this type of style for AI. Now we saw this recently with the crypto market as well. It was a lot of dark websites, a lot of these type of interactions and a lot of these types of styles where they're kind of glass, but chrome, and sometimes they're more colorful. So we can start to imagine that these websites are going to become a lot more common. And with this 3D scenario here, if we scale that all the way down, this is the kind of interaction that we get. So we have this, I didn't even know that was a button, but we get this div here, this animation, which is in 3D and allows you to explore these abstract shapes. And when we have these shapes, we can then click on them apparently, and it takes us to the individual section that it's talking about, which is great. So not only is this starting to become more and more common, we're seeing these types of illustrations, these types of designs, but overall as a trend in general, the entire industry, AI is becoming so much more prevalent and common that we start to see pages and even entire companies that are integrating AI into things that you do every single day. So this is a magician's website and they have created an AI tool for Figma. I actually made a video about it. So if you wanna watch it, go ahead right there. But this type of company, this type of product is becoming so much more common these days with AI and being able to just incorporate AI to help you in every single task. That is a massive, massive thing. So anyone that wants to break into that world and become a niche specialized AI designer, making websites for AI companies and things like that, there is a ton of potential there. And especially with this massive market that's just coming out, this is the infinite of those times. Don't think that the, the wave is already passed or anything like that. This is the bare beginning. And even 10 years from now, it's going to be the beginning, especially with the rest of the time to come. But this is a massive, massive thing that is starting to take over. And lastly, I have kind of already talked about it in this video, but micro interactions are going to become a huge part of 2023 and 2024 as well. Now with websites like Webflow and Framer and all these things, making it so much more accessible to just simply add in a very quick interaction into your project, you can clone this, 
copy it and paste it directly into your project. You can see how these interactions are going to start to become so much more accessible to the everyday Joe, not necessarily designers or developers or anything like that, but you're going to start to see mom and pop shops with very nice interactions and very nice UX. And I think that is a great trend to go forward, especially if design is becoming so much more accessible with all these tools that why shouldn't the average website look 10 times better? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, do let me know down below. If you have any more additions that you think I should talk about with these trends, then also do let me know down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys have to say. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.